Hello, I'm Donald McIntyre of NewFination.com. This is New Financial Live, and uh, we're joined by Marisol Menendez uh, Alvarez and Luz Fernandez Espinosa of BBVA in Spain, in Madrid. Hello, Marisol. Hello, Luz. Hello. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Very happy to be here talking to you. Yeah, thank you very much for doing this. Um, you are in Madrid, and it's and it's ten forty nine a.m. there, and I'm in Denver, and it's two forty nine a.m. here. <laughs> so we have a a big time difference. Um, Marisol and Luz, uh, I saw the presentation that you did in, at Finnovate um, last month. Um, where you presented a service that is not the bank, it is uh, an independent service called uh, stockbus.es. Uh, but before we talk about that, I wanted to know a little bit about uh, you, you personally, your backgrounds. Can you tell me what 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 is your career when when you started the bank and doing innovation there? Well, I'm a, I just arrived to BBA. I, I'm a journalist. I used to, to work as a blogger and as a journalist, always writing about technology and in, innovation. And um, then I changed and I, I, I just began to work in BBA as the responsible for communications uh, related to, commu to innovation issues. So you, you work in communication for the innovation area of the bank? That is. So afterwards, I'm going to ask you then about the that that sector within the bank. And Marisol, what is your background? Well, um, I've been working in the bank uh, for the last seven eight years. Um, I'm in, I'm engineer, and I've been working in different systems throughout the bank, uh, from human resources uh, processes or uh, even our ATMs because we have special and new and, and fine ATMs that we review and complete in also in the innovation department. And now I'm uh, working with the Open Innovation Team, which aims to establish relationships with different uh, stakeholders, allowing the innovation to flow inwards and outwards from EBBA. I know I know the BBVA very well because uh, I'm Argentine and uh, uh, BBVA is uh, like the biggest bank in Argentina and uh, I also worked in other countries in Latin America like Mexico and Bancomer BBVA in Mexico is the largest bank there here here in the US BBVA is mainly an online bank and it has some branches here in Denver for example there is there is I saw several branches uh, and in Spain, it must be the biggest or the second biggest bank. It's the the second biggest bank, and, and we, are, I, we have we are in thirty two different countries, and you know Spain is only a part of all the financial group that is becoming more and more international. What what I find very interesting that I didn't see anywhere else is is what you mentioned, Marisol, the innovation center at the bank, and you said that um, you work uh, with different stakeholders. So, wh what is what is the objective of the innovation center, and what are the stake the stakeholder? Are are they like stockholders of the bank and different areas of the bank, or you also work with uh, with external uh, partners? Innovation Center is is a place where the bank want to to create a different space to uh, add more uh, thinking in 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 innovation and in technologies and creating new models and new uh, uh, flows for working so new kinds of, of of working models and we try to to attract to the to BBA. Uh, Different different persons or different groups, the stakeholders that usually from the BBA brand 
we don't we don't attract them. You know? So we we make a lot of um, events uh, and and projects with entrepreneurs and with startups. And then we have a uh, we have we we create a, a knowledge network with different uh, institu institutions in all around the world. We work close with meet with the Massachusetts MIT, MIT I mean, mm -hmm. and or with Amazon or, or with Google. And uh, in the center is 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 the place where we try. Uh, that we make this this relation happens, and when we want the innovation happens here, no, we want to be the 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 accelerator. You say this word accelerator, accelerator for innovation in the bank. And I think that yeah. it is widely known that well, well nowadays even more people are doing it that all the innovation can't uh, be only from within the company. No? Uh, if you get advice from other people or ideas from other people, you'll be wiser and better, no? Even as a person, as an individual. Well, for the company, it's the same. No? We need to hear and we need to learn and we need to interact with other groups, not not only for BBVA's benefit, but also for the other stakeholders, because working together, we are stronger. No? So we have different kind of events and relationships, as Luz mentioned. We are present. We have presence in a lot of, of uh, entrepreneurial events. We have relationship with several incubators, and we have also, for example, an observatory in San Francisco. And all this knowledge and the, all these relationships then flow down to the company, so we can be uh, or continue generating and keeping the wheel. Rounding around the innovation. Yes, we want to 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 be close to the talent and close to the the people who are working in the in the real world, no? And to share and to share the knowledge and to maintain an an open innovation model. And the and the innovation center uh, works um, centrally out of Madrid or Spain. You said uh, you, you mentioned that you have an office or a presence in in San Francisco, or do you collaborate in a decentralized way, like in Berlin and Estonia and, and UK and, and and San Francisco, Wall Street? Yes, it's a it's an open model and and spread out no. it's, yeah, around the world. And the thing and uh, and the center is only you know the the head or the face that you can see. But it's a model that is uh, we want to extend, and we want to be uh, that is part of the business of the everyday uh, business or the development of the business in VBA. So uh, it's always connected to to different places in, around the world. Right now, Colombia uh, last month or last week uh, uh, they opened the the first innovation center in South America. And in the next few months, we are going to 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 open new centers in other countries. Yeah, I remember also being in Bogota, in, in Colombia, and uh, BBVA. I think it's Bank Bank Colombia. It's it's the biggest bank also. In Colombia. Colombia. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> I think the the brand is BBVA Colombia. BBVA Colombia. Um, I think this is this is a surprise to me because in in general traditional players like uh, investment banks, uh, retail banks, insurance companies, and, and mutual fund companies are very uh, defensive with technology and in, in Silicon Valley, and uh, so maybe we can do uh, another interview uh, in the near future to talk about that strategy specifically of the bank. Uh, for sure. Um, <laughs> But uh, bueno, the the what uh, caught my attention was the stock bus. I saw that stock bus is is a service that was created there at the innovation center of BBVA um, that collects information from social networks and analyzes that and you come up with uh, market sentiment. Can can you explain what is stockbus.es? Sure. 
Okay, um, the last year, I think uh, many companies around the world were trying to gather or how or to think how we can take advantage of all the conversation that is around the social networks. You know? um, not only, for example, for stocks, as we did in stockbuzz.s, but also, for example, for cinema trends, how to know if a movie will be a hit or not, or stuff like that. So it's um, an important trend in the technologies nowadays. But also it's a challenge because well, it, this conversation has a lot of information. Is uh, people may talk about the stock or may not, or may talk about a company without being even related to the stocks. It's, so it's certainly a challenge. So we took the challenge and uh, decided to work on it, uh, beginning with the Spanish market. So um, the intention is that we can gather all the, the tweets that talk about the stocks uh, from our IBEX 35, which is the index for uh, for the Ma Madrid market, okay, mm -hmm. which includes the 35 most liquid Spanish stocks. And um, we gather all the information that every day talks about any of that companies. And from that point, uh, from that beginning point, we begin to work and process all that information. It's a challenge, as I told you, because, for example, um, BBVA, uh, or people may talk about BBVA because uh, of economic and financial stuff, but also uh, BBVA span, uh, sponsors the Spanish Football League, or the NBA, NBA League in, in the States. So it may be about financial or not. And maybe that's a simple example, but we also had a company in the IBEX 35, which was DIA. In English, DIA is they. So all the tweets that may include the word they are, are massive. You know? So we uh, created and developed and, and improved, um, um, how do you say, a semantic analysis tool. And so this tool has different uh, parts of the process, which understands the tweet and with certain rules um, begins to understand if it's related or not to the stocks. And uh, so, so the uh, the end the end result, the product uh, of of the of the service of Stockbus uh, the ES is um, that it gives me. The sentiment of uh, what are the people in social media thinking about the market? If it's going up or if it's going down? How are people feeling towards that certain stuff? If people are are talking about um, maybe, um, for example, a company closed the um, the contract for building whatever important building, well. We we gather that this will be good for the sentiment, for the stock. If many people talk about it, then it will be better because it's important in the public mood. But if one of these people is really important and has and is uh, recognized as someone with authority to talk about this, or or well, it's not the same if I have my opinion over BBVA or if. Gonzalez says something, our CEO. No? So we can also have a measure of how important is the people that is the person that talks about that and how it may influence. In that way, you can, you can, the sentiment we calculate is some, somewhat a pretty good point of view of how people feel towards the stock and how may the stock uh, behave in the future. Well, um, what I see, what I see here on the website, is that, like you said, you started with a Spanish stock market, so you have the the Spanish the Spanish stock market index is called the IBEX IBEX, uh, IBEX, I -B -E -X, IBEX and uh, it has thirty five companies. So what I see is that you have 
like an opinion of the of the social networks and uh, you said it's twitter um about if 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 the social network is negative neutral or positive about the index or any of the individual 35 stocks um, and like you said this you just started with the spanish market but this is something that an engine that can analyze information and uh, it could be applied to movies or any other stock market like you said um, so but uh, so in terms of uh, the, the the service I understand then I can go there and see what is the sentiment on Twitter or any stock or any stock index how, how does it work first it's only Twitter uh, and you say that you pick up the information from the tweets on a constantly or from from when? Every night. Um, we pick the information every night because one person reason that that we understand is really crucial to the calculation. It's not the same if if one tweet talks talks about the sentiment uh, as if that tweet is retweeted maybe a uh, hundred times. Or maybe if it becomes a trending topic during the day. So if I pick that tweet in this moment and calculate its importance, uh, it may be lower if I, uh, that than if I pick it even in, in the afternoon. So we came to the conclusion that we should have um, we shouldn't be picking information online because also changes by the minute. So the sentiment you will be looking at wouldn't be precise in any minute. So we pick the information uh, every night of all the tweets, of all the stuff related to the index we are studying. Um, it's also important that the tool, the semantic analysis tool needs to learn. So by the moment, the administrator and the team involved in the maintenance of the tool are um, analyzing and taking care that the tool learns correctly and, and, and they um, have additional criteria and correct some mistakes that tool makes. And all these criteria, by the moment, is only about in Spanish, in Spanish from Spain, because <laughs> It's, it, we also have a lot of regionalism you know? yes. and, and localism. So, and it works around all this information. At the end, um, we, we give a way for each tweet that at the end is relevant for the stock market information. We uh, give a, a score, a kind of a score based on, on the popularity and the, and the um, how do you say the relevance of the tweet in the market or in the sentiment? We have uh, we didn't identify the important bloggers, the, the most influencers. Okay, so we uh, li um, a list you may say of the top bloggers or the top influencers for all the stock market information, and we also can get an idea of who the top influencers each day are because it, it changed. From day to day, depending on the and on if the, the market on or the subject or the news or the mood. So so and when when you say that you get all the tweets at night, is that uh, the tweets of that moment or you accumulate the the tweets of, of during the day? All the tweets during the day, refrain or <clears throat> may, uh, more precisely, all the tweets from the last time we gathered the tweets. So at the end, uh, we are uh, accumulating all the tweets in the history since we began to, to analyze this information that may refer or contain some information related to any of the companies. Our, but this moment, I think we have more or less 1 million and 70, almost 2 million, maybe, of tweets analyzed. Of those, maybe 200,000 are related to the stock market. And when, we when, you say, when you say one million uh, analyzed tweets, that's since since you started. Yes, we started in I don't remember if uh, beginning in September, I think, or in August. 
in in September three, so it's more or less six months. So you yeah. have you have thousands of of tweets every day, and you say that around twenty percent of all the tweets that you gather every day are are usable because they are related to the market. Yes, more or less, more around fifteen or ten percent. Fifteen or ten percent of the tweets are relevant. Are the yeah, most you can use them for the, for the market, and and then you said also I think that is it's critical what you said that um, for example if, if you have ten thousand tweets to analyze now, um, and those are the one you you have two thousand that are the the ones that are applicable to the market, and from there you analyze each tweet like uh, how important it is, like how many followers they have, or if they are someone that are, is important in the market, something like that, because if not, I could tweet a lot about my company and make it go up, no? That's it. Um, so, so you pick up the information, you analyze it, you take out everything that, doesn't, that is not related to the market, and then you analyze each tweet by who follows that person and how many retweets it has or some or things like that to to give it uh, more weighting and, and importance and and then you uh, you um, how do you know if it's positive or negative because you, you can I can say I hate Argentaria for example no, not Argentaria um, <laughs> BBA. <laughs> Argentaria was a bank that BBA bought, no? BBA yeah, of the BBA. Bilbao, Vizcaya, Banco, Bilbao, Bilbao Vizcaya, Argentaria. But the brand is BBA. <laughs> a ver, Avertis, say. I can say I don't like Avertis, so you know that it, it, it it's regarding the market. Say that I uh, have a no say twenty thousand followers, so I am relatively important. But how do you know if it's positive or negative? Well, was, that is one of the most important parts of our semantic analysis tool because it can analyze it, <laughs> it's positive, negative, or or neutral. Um, and it's uh, at the end, it's a set of rules that uh, the tool uses to determine if some words. Uh, lead to a positive um, if, if, to know if you what you told about you talked about is positive or negative or neutral but I think it's the most difficult of all because um, it it will be very difficult and I think that it may pass many many years for a computer to detect irony yes. because you may say sure BBBA is the best uh -huh. you know? and you are not saying that it's the best, for example. So, uh, yeah, because, uh, because it's sarcastic. Yes, irony and sarcasm are uh, pretty difficult to detect in text analysis. So, I think that almost all our um, trouble, our daily struggle, is surrounded by irony and sarcasm, you know? And it may take years of education for the tool to detect that. And even then, I don't think that anyone can program every, every kind of sarcasm. So it's, I think it's the biggest challenge of this semantic analysis tool. Uh, but uh, it's where we are working in. No? Every day, no? Every I mean, day. every day the tool is learning. Exactly. And exactly. improving. Uh, here, here, I heard uh, in Silicon Valley that uh, that what you're doing is called big data. Big data. That uh, essentially the theory is that the information about how things are already exists. Uh, you just need to create the algorithms and the systems to analyze the data to come up with a with a with a conclusion. Uh, so I guess yeah. that you are doing that, but for the stock market. Yeah, it's more or less the same. My la my last question is. I know then that that you gather the information. The result is: is this going up or down or staying the same according to what the people are saying? And uh, you do it with Twitter. Uh, do Do you think this is this is going to be? Are you projecting this to be global? And are you planning also to use all the all the information there, not only Twitter but all the other sources? 
well, um, we are planning on using this tool to analyze other markets that move in Spanish, okay, because it's the natural, maybe the natural expansion of this tool. It's a complete different matter to analyzing another language, you know, with another set of rules, another education and cultural matters. You know? mm -hmm. So we are trying uh, to, to make the same analysis for the Latin American market. And uh, we are not currently thinking of including other social media because we have different limitations around uh, how can we use this information. For example, Facebook doesn't allow you to explore all the information people put in. No? You have to be following on certain rules. So, uh, and we think also that Twitter is the best um, uh, exposure for this kind of people talk about stocks in Twitter, okay? There may be other social networks, but Twitter is pretty good uh, representation. So the other line of action is to, to we are creating an open platform where people can connect and develop uh, new tools based on our API uh, tools. So the stock bus information will be available through our API and through our open platforms, so other developers or uh, other people may create new tools based on this information. In any moment, it will only be a sentiment and only a reference point because we don't want to create a, um, uh, how do you say, a, a tool that may tell people buy or sell because we are not taking that role. We are only showing a sentiment. And in that point, we are going to remain. You are only showing sentiment, and 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 whoever comes to the website or uses the app can decide what to do with that information. Exactly. And and uh, my last question is, um, uh, what is the correlation? If you have since September any kind of testing, if it if it works, if it for example is if the system says that the mar the buzz in Twitter is positive for the ibex. If it actually happens, okay, we have pretty good results in that matter because, or uh, better than we expected, uh, the, the correlation are, it's around is positive, for instance, and it's around 0.4. Right? It means that whenever the sentiment says it's positive, then the market goes up. Okay, um, it's 0.4. It's not one. Okay, sometimes it uh, it doesn't go the same way. You can get a better idea if you if you look at the biannual statistics or the tri quarterly statistics or and the graphs in the page. You can see how the trend goes, and as the positive or negative sentiment is moving, also the stock market line changes. It's pretty visual in that way. So we are we are satisfied with that result because, as we talked about, these these are pretty abstract concepts and it's what people is saying, you know, and it's not a set of rules or rigid information. So it's quite a good result. Just to clarify, the, the correlation is 0 0.4, that is a high correlation because a correlation in statistics is from minus 1 to plus 1. If, okay. if something is correlated plus one with something else, that means that it goes exactly the same. Exactly. And uh, if it's minus one, it, th it means that it goes exactly the opposite. Mm -hmm. And if it's zero, it means that it doesn't have anything to do. They both uh, behave totally different. Po point four is pretty high in correlation. That means that whatever the sentiment the system says uh, is more or less followed by the market. Exactly. Uh, bueno, thank you very much, Marisol and Luz, for your time mm -hmm. and, and for explaining um, what is BBVA uh, Innovation Center and Stock Bus. I think it's a, a the first thing that, uh, that I think is that, uh, in my mind at least, is revolutionary that a bank is in this effort so and so focused and being so open also. The way you described it is, is a very open kind of project. 
And uh, the second thing is the fact the the service itself, uh, StockBus, it's picking up information from Twitter in this case, and uh, with uh, with algorithms and uh, and technology, um, deciphering where the market is going. So I think that is also very very interesting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye bye.